you will likely remember the enterprise commitment from a previous series. It goes like this. When working in a team or group environment, I will place the interests of the enterprise above my own personal interests. By now, you've likely tackled the enterprise commitment and are modeling it well at the top. But just because you're doing it there doesn't mean that you can assume that everyone in the company gets it. As you create cross-functional teams throughout the company, you've got to ensure that the enterprise commitment is taught to and upheld by each of the new team members. Include it in your team mandate, print it out on cards and hand it out at the first team meeting and hold everyone accountable to it. This is particularly challenging in a cross-functional environment. There's this mixture of various levels of authority outside of the team and various levels of leadership skill inside of the team. And various departments are represented and all of this leaves plenty of room for infighting, confusion, and apathy. By creating that team, you're actually going straight to the heart of each of those issues and doing it in a safe and highly productive way. Still, you're going to need a few tools to speed up the process and make it stick. You've got to build with balance in mind. Don't include five individuals who all share one department or leadership style, more on that in a moment, or even a management level within the organization and then have one odd man out. Schedule consistent meetings. This is going to allow the team to create a cadence and begin meeting and addressing issues proactively instead of reactively and make sure everybody shows up. Also, encourage open disagreement and then require absolute commitment. Make the most of your meetings by engaging in passionate debate on the issue and then making sure that every single person in the room leaves 100% committed to the team's course of action. Now, having the right ground rules for your team is great, but it doesn't guarantee a great result. You need to make sure that the right people are in the room. With cross-functional teams, selecting the right people, it can be pretty complicated because there's just so many options. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to know if you have the right leadership styles in the room based on what issues you need the team to solve.